We're having our second round of welcome drinks. We just arrived at the JW Marriott in Phu Quoc in Vietnam. It is so beautiful here. We just had our welcome drinks in our lobby, but the management team invited us into this beautiful cafe for a second round of drinks and wait for our complimentary upgraded suite. Score! Unlike the many other JW Marriott's we have stayed in the world, this one is really special in our books. The resort is built on the eastern coastline of the idyllic holiday island of Phu Quoc, facing a private white sand beach with calming tides from the Gulf of Thailand. Along with bespoke service, spacious accommodations and contemporary eclectic designs from our favorite designer, Bill Bansley. The result is a stunning luxury resort with true beach vacation goals. What truly sets the experience apart from all our previous stays is the whimsical and cheeky immersive theater experience introduced by the designer. Bringing in a fictional 19th century varsity narrative, school uniforms were designed for staffs in various factions. Rooms and villas were separated in various departments of the school, and more than 5,000 historical pieces of antiques and furniture were upcycled, gave new meanings to a themed destination resort. With this level of theatrical production at play, it was so convincing that at one point, we believed the fable Lamarck University actually existed. Our suite is ready. We're heading to the Department of Architecture on our buggy. It's gonna be super exciting because I heard that we are upgraded into a turquoise suite. Hey guys, we just checked in to the JW Marriott in Phu Quoc, located on the southern tip of the island. We are so excited to be using our two free night certs for our two night stay here. We are pre-upgraded to the signature turquoise suite. Here's a quick tour. When you first walk in, you notice this really huge wardrobe. But it actually is a mini bar hidden inside with Mirrors! Seriously! We have your usual espresso machine, all of your beautiful treats for nice tea and coffee, hot water flask, complimentary water bottles, I love it, no plastic, all glass, and they're refillable and completely complimentary. We also have mini refrigerator with nice chilled drinks and beverage. And let's look what's in these drawers. Ooh, they have cutleries in the drawer. They're so cute. Ooh, and I love snacks in my wardrobe. And now into the spacious living room with beautiful hallway mirrors that makes this place look so big and airy. Can we just take a second and marvel at this eclectic design by one of our favorite architect, Bill Bensley? He's such a genius in all these little small touches from the beautiful mosaic tiles to all the accented furniture and decorations inspired by seashells and pineapples. I know, very quirky. I even love all these tassel that's hanging from the TV and this beautiful lantern chandelier. It's just so mind-blowingly beautiful. And the next thing that I really love are all these fresh flowers and welcome fruit tray that makes us feel so welcome and homey at the same time. Shall we go into the bedroom? Yes, we shall. We walk into this large canopy bed that is super luxurious and looks super comfy. And let's marvel at these circular mirrors. It's kind of a nautical theme because it also has these ropes that's holding on to the television 
and you just have all this ample seating space. I love it. Now through the barn doors, we have this beautiful ensuite. It's my Nick's favorite place in this beautiful signature suite because they have two separate vanities sitting on opposite ends on each side. Look at them. I love the refurbishment of the furniture with bubble top tables and marble sink. Just so beautiful. And in these drawers are more treats. Who doesn't love more bathroom amenities? To this corner, we have once again another huge lantern <laughs> chandelier in a petition toilet. And over here, we have our walk in closet with all our basic amenities from safety deposit box, hangers, iron, bathroom robes, and bathroom slippers. And look, so thoughtful. They even give us beach bags so that we can use them at the beach. And now for my favorite, these conical hats. So Vietnam, I love it. To our next space, we have this beautiful tub sitting in the center, showering at this beautiful, gorgeous, natural light. And to my back, I love it. It's a petition space with these doors overlooking these double redhead showers. Who needs one? Let's do double. And then, best part, the cherry on top. Peace de resistance. Follow me all the way through here, through the bedroom, through the living room, is your private exclusive balcony overlooking Emerald Bay. The water is so blue and so clear, and you have all this ample seating space to enjoy your time here at the JW Marriott in Fuquak. The JW Marriott Food Clock was built in 2016. All of the 205 rooms within the property comes with spacious balcony or terrace. Standard rooms begin at a generous 570 square feet, with some deluxe rooms facing the sparkling water of Emerald Bay with dazzling sunrise views. The designer's creative play with layouts, the standard rooms never felt basic nor small, and are often commonly confused with the premium suites within the resort. There are a total of 26 premium suites with even more space starting at 968 square feet. These suites tend to be on a higher floor with better views of the bay and beach. Layout, design, and configurations also varies by the school's department themes within the building, making the immersive experience more interactive. Speaking of themes, the eight standalone villas are individually decorated in different representations of the school themes starting at 1937 square feet, completed with private plunge pools and gated gardens. All right, so B and I are done with everything we need to do in the room. We got a little shower in, and now we're going to go on the activities itinerary, which is the university tour. We get to find out a little bit about each of the buildings and the architecture and the history of it all, and kind of the story of this imaginable place. I think it's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm really excited for it. The following are some of our favorite places in the resort. One of our most favorite is definitely the Department of Chemistry. Ingeniously named as the bar of the hotel, with delicious concoctions served in test tubes and glass beakers. And did I mention, looking up at the bar, you can find the entire periodic table of elements. How cool is that? The other meeting room spaces are also our favorite where a single boardroom is turned creatively into different theme spaces, which is also called the Department of Carpentry. It teleports you into like a Harry Potter looking light set with upcycle wooden chairs plastered on walls, hung upside down, forming a whimsical chandelier. The Department of Artistry with graffiti, wallpaper of splatter paint, hanging paint brushes as chandeliers. And lastly, the Grand Ballroom is another favorite of ours because it literally looks like a massive hall in a school. And 
another favorite place of ours to visit was the Pink Pearl Restaurant. It felt like we were being teleported into a glamorous Shanghainese nightclub in the 1920s. Plush pink hues, tall accented windows, colonial influence interiors with eclectic prints and floor tilings. Definitely a treat for the eyes as well as the tummy. Lastly, our favorite place is the Department of Physical Education, which is also the gym of the hotel, where it's designed like a 1950s varsity gym with 24 hours keycard access. So we are taking a quick break in our walking tour around campus and we just stopped at the Department of Chemistry and the best part is they just provided us peanuts in a test tube. So cute. I think it's honey roasted. Kind of stuck, yeah. Cheers. A little spicy. Mmm. I like that. Yummy. Great tour so far. There is plenty to do at this resort. If lounging by the iconic shell-shaped pool or relaxing under the shade of swaying coconut trees isn't your thing, the resort offers daily activities and entertainment for both adults and kids. All aptly curated in the student's timetable found inside a student handbook provided when you checked in. If you wish to explore outside of the resort, the island of Fukuok offers many other excursions, boat rides, and even a cable car ride for an extra fee from the hotel. All right, we've had a very eventful day. We did the university walking tour, then we did the VIP cocktail hour, and now it's time for dinner. So instead of going to the restaurants here located on the resort area, we actually opted for some pho. So I have the beef pho, check it out. In room dining. In room dining, and B has the chicken pho. Yum! Both come with the delicious broth that goes with it and then some side veggies with some hot sauce. So I'm super excited because we have been waiting to eat an actual meal since we got on the island. So we're opting for in-room dining because it's definitely a special experience as opposed to going to the restaurants. Granted, they do have food like this, but not pho, and we've been craving pho all day. They're both about 230,000 dongs, so let's eat. All right, we just finished our amazing workout and now it's time for some breakfast. I am hungry. We opted for breakfast for the next two days as a part of our welcome amenity, right? Platinum welcome gift choice. Yes, let's eat. All right, we have finished breakfast and it was super delicious. Honestly, there was so much food, I couldn't even decide what I wanted to eat. They had Korean food, Japanese food, there was vegetarian food, and then there's like Western food. So they kind of have a little bit of everything, which is super cool. And now we're gonna walk around and explore and see what cool things we can find on campus. Love it.
it is almost 6 p.m. right now, and this is our latest hotel checkout ever out of all the hundreds of hotels we ever stayed. And it's just been amazing because we only have two nights booked here. We got upgraded to a suite, which is massive, spectacular view of this beautiful ocean. This two nights literally felt like it's been almost a week because we had done so much and I don't know, we checked in early and we checked out so late. So we have really maximized our stay down here in Phu Quoc. And if we get an opportunity to come back here, we'll definitely visit the JW Marriott again. All right, so now we have to continue our adventure and leaving Phu Quoc sadly, but we're heading to Da Nang. Da Nang. It's super exciting. Da Nang has a lot of super crazy stuff we heard about that's really awesome. Uh, a cool city, also very nice beaches, and also very close to one of our favorite bucket list hotspots for Vietnam, which is Hoi An. Um, we're gonna spend two nights at the Intercontinental in Da Nang, also a Bill Bensley designed hotel, which is really, really exciting. And we're gonna spend the next two nights in Hoi An, and it's gonna be really, really fun. So, let's go. <laughs> 